Okay, welcome everybody here today in stunning 1080p HD, extremely artsy and hip, black and white, we have hand art. That's right, we're drawing on someone's hand with ink. And obviously, a uh, big thank you to um, someone let me draw on their hand here today. Big shout out to uh, Peter Draws. He let me draw all, all over his left hand and uh, uh, just a very cool and selfless thing. And the human flesh is a very interesting canvas. It's a lot different than a piece of paper. Also in some ways, is very similar to a piece of paper. It's similar to a piece of paper in the sense that uh, it's a physical object. Um, depending on how you look at it, it has two sides, a uh, front side and a back side, a palm and a... And I know a piece of paper like I know the back of my hand. The one thing that attracted me to this is that when I use this kind of pen, this is a Rotring Isograph that I was using, these have a very runny ink. And you can see how the ink, when, when you draw a line, the ink runs out in very, very satisfying rivulets out through the, the little cracks and creases in the skin. You draw one line and you get all sorts of fun little complementary lines uh, running out kind of perpendicular. Anyways, I think it's really good with art sometimes, and th this is a little example to embrace and absorb and encourage a little bit of chaos, a little bit of randomness into your art. You can control some of it, like I could control where I drew the lines, but I couldn't control where the little lines sprouted off. So I like that. And there's all, there are lots of kinds of art like this. Uh, one big example where the chaos is way more in control is is something that's very popular on the internet right now is those acrylic paint pours. Uh, maybe I should try those sometimes. Sometime? Sometime I will, maybe. Uh, if I, I do have like a bottle of that um, acrylic thinner or paint elixir or whatever the heck it's called that you have to mix with the paint and then you pour it and I don't know, maybe I could like pour it and then draw on top of it. You get all sorts of cool... Anyways, I, I kind of like that kind of thing. I, I do similar things where I, I paint with watercolors sometimes and then enjoy the, the, the little curls and swirls that water makes as the paint dries and everything. It's fun. So I enjoyed looking very closely at my hand as the ink crept along through the crevices. If you look closely enough, it looks like I have tons of tiny little grand canyons all over the back of my hand. Now, what I think would be super cool is to find uh, or see if I could find like a really, really old person or someone with very, very wrinkly hands. Because uh, if you look at my hand from a distance, it looks pretty normal. But we've all seen people's hands who whose hands look far wrinklier, right? And some people have very wrinkly hands or hands that look like wrinkled paper. And it's just, I'll be honest, I'm very fascinated by hands. When I see a person, one of the first thing I look at is their hands. I don't know, some people say you can tell a lot of person by their hands, you know, but I think they're, they're more talking about like whether or not they have like calluses on their hands or something like, oh, that person's, you know, if they have like very soft hands and manicured fingernails, they're like, oh, that person's never done a hard, you know, long, full day's work in their life or something. That's not what I'm talking about. I just like looking at hands for other reasons because they fascinate me just for maybe for how they're shaped and the way. And then there's this, this whole fingernail thing, which I can't get into. Fingernails, as much as I like hands and like looking at people's hands, I like looking at people's fingernails almost twice as much in real life. I don't like looking at pictures of fingernails. I don't like looking at pictures of fingernails. I love looking at fingernails in person. Okay? Okay, enough about that. But maybe I can find a nice, wrinkly, shriveled hand. To, like a, but a living person's hand to draw on. And that would be incredible, I think, for a sequel to this. And we can look at it closely and watch the ink uh, do its thing. What say you? What do you think? I say, uh, um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All in favor say nay. All right. The eyes have it. And uh, so keep your eyes peeled for a sequel with a wrinkly hand in the future, hopefully.
I feel like how it's going to go down is I'm just going to be hanging out and I'm going to see someone with a wrinkly hand. I'm going to be like, do you want to be in a YouTube video with me, for me, of, of you, for me, on the internet? All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.